Yo, hello friends, welcome to an episode of Beat Camp. I'm your host Sammy. We have various producers joining us, doing their thing. We've got an infinite amount of styles, so we're always learning something new. Come join us on our journey into the secrets of beat making. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Yo, what's up fam? Time for another Beat Camp episode. We're up in the studio with Paulus today. What's up, Paulus? How you doing? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Nice to have you here. Long time no see, but we're back in business now at Cardano. What's on your mind? What's cooking today? Well, nothing much. I'm on vacation and can make a lot of music now. Cooked this loop yesterday, a little preparation for today. Yeah. Maybe I'll show it to you. Hit it. First, I have here organ sound from Omnisphere with a few plugins on it. Yeah. Firstly, some basic EQing with the stock EQ from Logic. Vinyl plugin from Isotope. Yeah. Gives it a nice touch. And yep. then I pitched it down. Uh, one semitone. And then yep. the Logic plug flanger just to widen it up a, a little bit. Then the other sound I have, also from Omnisphere, it's this, I don't know, classical orchestra sound. <laughs> they sound nice together, I think. Yeah, it's warm and lush and big. Yeah, I like it. It, it reminds me of your album, Euphoria 99. Similar big lush mm -hmm. sound. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I like those kind of melancholic melodies. Yeah. That are not quite sad or happy there. Mm, yeah. Somewhere in between. Yeah, us. yeah. That's a good description of your sound. Yeah. So this is a place to start. Maybe first hi hat, so let's go with it. We can change it later. What kind of tempo range do you usually work between? Um, maybe between 120 to uh, 150 max. I yeah. usually um, go with a bit more slower tempos. Let's lay out some clap sounds. Let's go with this. Okay. Now we can start messing with the hi-hats there. <clears throat> Do you usually go with like a four bar loop in the hats or do you do more variation? I usually keep the hi hats pretty basic. Yeah. Maybe this kind of beat also it suits it better. But usually I'll tweak the hi-hats like multiple times. Yeah. I'll come back to them. Yeah, sure. Okay, maybe some open hi-hats. Maybe I'm gonna change the hi-hat sound. I don't quite like it. What's the thing about it you didn't really feel? I want it to be more a little bit more sharp. Mm. He's a bit more lighter. Yeah. Okay, now we have the basics done. Now for the money. 808. The spins 808, of course. Sometimes do this, so pitch everything down or up and see how it sounds then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gives it a whole new vibe. <laughs> yeah, it sounds even more lush when you pitched it down. And mm -hmm. I think it sounds more fat now. You may even try it once more. Some a nice kick 
How long have you been making music? A few years, four or five years mm -hmm. in total. Do you get into it by with friends or just by yourself? Um, I think it started in high school, just messing around with garage band. Read from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's usually how it starts. Yeah, that gives us a nice bounce. times have you pitched this thing down i don't know i usually <laughs> pitch them up yeah. and down many times just to yeah yeah find the right yeah the zone for the 808 and the melodies yeah i think we're now quite close to the original one maybe mm -hmm. Do you usually do the beats just for yourself or uh, do you produce for others as well? And if so, where can people go and listen to your beats? Do you upload your beats somewhere? Um, I actually don't. Okay. I only, uh, I've only produced for myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I've thought about it. I, I would like to. Yeah. Like make beats for. Yeah, hit other me up if too. you if you ever open a, like a yeah, site sure. somewhere and we can link it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and <clears throat> also you can find uh, Paulo's songs in, down in the description below. So go check those out. Yeah, go check them. And I usually, when I make these beats, I I usually have the goal in mind to make it into a song. Mm -hmm. So pretty early on. I can hear it. Maybe this is not it, so I just leave it. So, do you have yeah. like lyrics in store, or do you always start writing for that? Or I do have some lyrics that I've just came up with and yeah, written down. So mm. just waiting for a beat mm. and yeah, yeah. And if on the spot inspiration doesn't hit, yeah, I can always check and go on from there. But usually, if the beats like on that level, usually the melodies and words just flow out. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So when you structure structure the song, is it usually pretty basic, like a uh, verse, uh, chorus, and so on? Yeah, at the start, I, yeah. I usually start that way, but when yeah. Uh, in my opinion, in terms of like beat making, that hmm. things done, and then the songwriting starts. Usually, I lay out the normal structure, like hmm. chorus, verse, yeah, chorus, and then another verse. Hmm. And when I start writing, I may change it up. Yeah, there may be like a whole different beat at the end, hmm. a beat switch. Yeah, whatever, but. It's a good place to start to lay out the sure, sure. basic structure. I also like to use the kick sparingly. Um, yeah, use it for these more intense moments. I usually don't use a lot of like effects and mm. risers or yeah. that type of stuff. I think the beat should speak for itself. When, when I produce with uh, like songwriting in mind, there mm. needs to be a lot of space yeah. in order for the yeah. vocals to mm. have their own way. And yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. Found Omnisphere or Omnisphere 2. Yeah. And decided to copy it. It was Quite expensive, but it's mm. been, it's been worth it totally. Yeah, yeah. Is that some kind of roads sound, or what did you? Uh, <coughs> this is the um, the basic classic classic electric piano sound that the oh, okay. Logic opens yeah, yeah, automatically. Yeah. Sure. I usually do the melodies with this. Yeah, yeah. Basic sound, so. 
if they sound good with that mm. one, so, so then I'll change to a better sound. Now let's try to find a sound. For Are you that. going for a mellow sound or something really spiky or? Uh, I'm not really sure. The I guess that kind of sound could work if you bring uh-huh. it really back, you know, push it to the back. Uh, it's a kind of a uh, retro, kind yeah, of, yeah. you know, eight <clears throat> bit kind of. I really sound. like this. This is the Omnisphere, like stock sound that it. Yeah. I'm not sure. I may may have used it somewhere before. Yeah. Yeah, I really think you should make a track out of this. Maybe, this maybe I will. Yeah. Maybe I will. <laughs> yeah. Would this be even mm. harder? Only one melody. Yeah. yeah. I don't think many people have a, really a signature sound when they make beats, but I I really think that you have kind of a own oh, signature thank you, sound. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I think it's pretty pretty close to the end. I'm yeah, I'll leave the leave the eighties synth. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Good job, man. That that sounds nice. And, yeah, thanks. Uh, and it was interesting to s- see your your workflow and what kind of tools you use to make your sound. And I hope to have you back again here at Beat Camp, and hope your listeners had a fun time watching this as well. And yeah, until next time. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching Beat Camp. Hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, and follow us for more content. Peace out.